Anyway, let's start a run here. Because, yeah, it's kind of like a thing. I saw some streamers complain that their mods were abusing it. But again, like, they're your mods. If you can't trust your mod, just unmod them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> or tell them to stop. <laughs> Which, you know, if you can't tell your mods to do that, you know. Who stream really is it, then? <laughs> can't let the mods reroll. You gotta make sure they are kept in their place. Looking at Kyder on 34. I always get a little stuck there. Yeah, the save file pays off a lot more in Frozen Wilds for the bomb jump there, I guess. I mean, it all, actually, it paid off more in the main game. Just because of how many times you shoot from mount on that. You sure you'll be but, uh, Frozen Wilds, at least, it causes a lot less resets. Because, uh, you know, don't have to worry about, um, Not that you'll stay long. you know, messing up the bomb jump anymore there. Yeah, chanting, and that's that feature, Erasmus. Uh, apparently Twitch is getting rid of it for some reason. <laughs> I don't really understand their reasoning, though. Like that it's... Because they say it makes people watch less. How do they know that? <laughs> like, do they notice that people leave the stream whenever people chant or something? Because that sounds unrealistic. Or un not believable. <laughs> But then again, if it really is abused a lot in all the chats, I guess that is the case, but... Oh well. I don't feel like that's an issue with the feature, that sounds like an issue with the whoever mods those streams. Oh well, I guess we can't have no fun. Hey, mean boy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously they must have a good amount of data on it. Oh yeah, I guess if you have like 10k viewers or more, it, you know, a chant feature is probably pretty overwhelming. Maybe even lags out the chat and people stop watching because of it. Or lags out the stream. I actually didn't think of that, but yeah, that could be a good reason. If that's the case. Did he just run away? Hey, cans. Hawks there. Okay, the scavengers have just gotten started. Very nice, really good talent. I could bring them back. Maybe I could even reactivate it. Well, that fits. Yeah, this is the only place you use the fortify. 
It's just when you have the high ground on the Glendhawks there, it's just so effective compared to anything else. Okay, if I'm right, I just need to get the power flow. Technically, what well, technically, if you wanted to be extremely risky about how you play it, it would just be faster to just use the ice rail on the Glendhawk that has the pot. But of course, then two Glendhawks would chase you to the tunneling, and they then you had to pray they don't hit you as you, you know, repair it. Now to climb up and obviously to that's, you know, not gonna happen most of the time. But that technically would be faster, but just a lot of dumb risk involved in that. I think Charlie has a easy strat for the Forge Fire. Oh, he uses the Forge Fire on the... What are they called? The Frost Claws. On the Freeze Frost Claws. Which is a... Apparently a really easy strat for like new runners, but uh, uh, too slow to do in like world record attempts. I use this armor because it uh, makes me uh, take less damage from the Storm Slinger. And we used the Storm Slinger a lot in the beginning of this run. Or in the middle of this run. But once we are past those sections, I'll switch back to the Shield Reaver. Pretty good tuning there. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Do you have plans to do for Zero Dawn run still? Yeah, but uh, I'll probably play for Bidden West for. The foreseeable future when it comes out, unless the game is terrible. But eventually, I'll probably need a little bit of a break from it and probably jump back on Zero Dawn. Or maybe just mix it up once in a while. But uh, yeah, I'm not done with this game just because Forbidden West comes out, but... Hopefully the game is good enough. Forbidden West is so good that it'll be a while before I come back, though. But uh, eventually I will come back and go for some times in this, because even if it's the most perfect game of all time, surely at some point I would need a break. <laughs> you know. Exclusive Zero Dawn content. Yeah, if you want to see Zero Dawn speedruns after Forbidden West comes out, just watch Kaider, I guess. Yeah, I come back and the world record is a 133. <laughs> I feel like if that's the case, then holo hologram skip has been found, but... And if that gets found, then I'll probably come back sooner. <laughs> if a big, huge skip is found by that. Another marker. Actually, one thing I kind of hope. I hope I make a good amount of money off Forbidden West release, right? Like from videos, streams, and all that. Not only because money is good, money is nice, we all know that. Um, but also, it could be cool to just be like, hey, if somebody ever finds Hologram Skip, I'll put a bounty up for it or something. Just to have a little bit of an incentive. Nobody tell me about it. Do you really think you can keep that a secret from me? People are just gonna be like getting 10 minute world records and stuff and them and people are just like so how did you do it? Uh, no, no, no new strat really no, no, just Save 10 minutes, you know, that just played really well <laughs> Are you 
Come on. I probably would have made that bridge. Ah. Played like a god, yeah. And also, given the fact that I'm on a moderator, I would probably still have to verify zero dawn runs. So I'd probably notice if somebody used a massive new skip. <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you get a 10 minute world record? I just ran faster. Simple as that. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. the shrine Maltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Maltuk said Aurea went past the shrine, up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. What, the shortest hologram? <laughs> I don't know, what would the shortest hologram even be? <laughs> One of the seared on holograms that you don't have to watch anyway, I guess. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. You allow it? Nice. Is it not possible to search for emotes on mobile? I have no idea. Because I never watch Twitch on mobile. Maybe somebody more experienced can answer that question. I don't know if there's some avid Twitch mobile users in chat. Chances are there probably is. But yeah, if you could instantly skip every hologram in the game, you would save around eight or nine minutes. I forgot the exact time, but it's like close to nine minutes. You would save in the speedrun. If, you know, you skip them instantly. Fresh air ahead. It would make any percent ultra hard a lot harder if you skipped the hologram all of a sudden in Greyport. Because all of a sudden you would have a lot less resources and, you know, corals to work with. And any percent ultra hard. I mean, I guess you could still grab the corals from the Death Ringer be just before, you know, going to the hologram and exit, but you would lose out on all the resources that you normally loot there. And at that point in the run, when you get to Graveheart, you're intentionally low on resources because you know you're going to get a lot of resources there. But I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Just don't use the resources all run easy. <laughs> ah yes, because that's easy to do. <laughs> Why did we never think of that? Clearly you are genius. <laughs> Oh. 
Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints available. Uh, decent shaman's bath, I guess. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. Return to scheduled task. No, I will not submit. You you heard she hope oh, I'm he was now let it's let whatever both weak side sounds tough. <laughs> Besides the bridge, it was a decent shaman's path, so oh. I'm losing this time because of the bridge. In case you're wondering. And a bad mount spawn, so we're not saving time on the hunting ground. Perfect. So run's basically dead now. <laughs> No good night sleep, Rasmus. So yeah, run pretty much died to things that were out of my control. You love to see it. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I mean, I can still technically PB, but it just sucks when you have these things happen. What was that? That was uh, Fairy Phoenix. Thank you so much for the $8.92. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It means a lot. And like we talked about earlier in the stream, I might add some goals to that donation counter there. So, like to for speed runs to do, or challenge runs, I mean, to do. We're already doing 100% ultra hard, so not that, obviously, because I promised that. But other things. Still got 23 days to do a lot of fun things. Red percent. <laughs> Hundo no damage. Not a no damage challenge, because they take forever. Keep a rate and I would I three me. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't remind me of that, Kaido, because now all I'm gonna be thinking about when I get to play Forbidden West is people being like So when are you doing no damage? Take it. <laughs> oh yeah, the story playthrough, of course. Come, I'm. I be the champion. And forget about the story playthrough. The story playthrough, I'd imagine, only is gonna take five days, maybe. Depends on how much I play per day. But I would say around five things, or oh, five days, five things. Yeah. Which is gonna suck those five days, even though I enjoy the story of this game, I s really suck at reading things out loud. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to read a lot of data points. <laughs> Welcome, Earl. That's one feature I really hope they have in Forbidden West, is a accessibility feature that reads data points for you. <laughs> Because they had that in Last of Us 2 with like text to speed uh, data points, collectibles, thingies. I hope they have that in Forbidden West. Completing Horizon Zero Dawn without jumping. <laughs> Lol. I doubt that's possible. <laughs> but you never know. Nah, not FW, because the Frozen Walls is TFW, whereas Forbidden West is just FW. Still confusing, but yes. Although I do see a lot of people call it the Forbidden West, but it's only called Forbidden West in the title. Even though whenever a character mentions it in the game, they say the Forbidden West. So it's very confusing, I agree, but I just want to point it out. And if you call it Horizon Zero Dawn 2 Forbidden West, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> in game. All right, gotta head up that mountain. Cause I hate when I see people call it that. <laughs> Looks like there are a few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. Cause that's basically the exact same as uh, as if you call it Harry Potter, 
the Philosopher's Stone in the Chamber of Secrets. That would be the same thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, accessibility features are needed for people, you know, generally. But, but for me, it would just be nice that I didn't have to read it. <laughs> Come on. That was a little scary. But, you know, given most Sony games have crazy good accessibility features now, I assume Forbidden West also is going to have some pretty good ones. Because the last of us two had it, Returnal has some good ones, and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart also had really good accessibility. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a guess that Forbidden West has also some good features. And if they are even like even five percent of what Last of Us Two had, it would be amazing. Because as much as I shit on Last of Us Two, the accessibility features in the, that game is insane. And something that every game should strive to copy. If they have the funding necessary to do it. Obviously an indie game would probably never be able to pull all those things off, but you get the point. You get the point. Over here, Challenger, Razor Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. Because like in Last of Us 2, it was so good that even a person that had almost no eyesight could play the game. I don't know how Naughty Dog pulled that off, but that's generally insane that they weren't able to do that. Should have walked back. At least we got him. Aratag almost taking my shot there. He really tried to block my shot, didn't he? But that was really good. Not perfect, but really good. And it is a gold. So we're not complaining about that. But yeah, I shared on Last of Us 2 a lot, but I just want to clarify. Last of Us 2 accessibility features are insane. And I think it's absolutely amazing that they did that, even though probably 99% of the players that were playing that game will never use them. But I hope going forward that most studios that have similar budgets to Naughty Dog and the manpower to do that thing will generally aspire to copy them. Soul walkers are really scary when they get up close. Yeah, Forbidden West is apparently gonna be, what was it, 87 gigabytes or something? I forgot the number, but yeah. something along those lines I guess I can't blame you for that mm. But 
but yeah obviously yeah, i don't know how well they actually worked you know most of the accessibility features i just saw a bunch of articles and youtube videos of people with uh, actual disabilities play the game and they claimed it worked really well so it's awesome Whoa there. even people that had never been able to really play games before were able to must have been really awesome for the developers as well like pulling that off and seeing people generally get benefit from it the spirit once told me that this all used to be part like because of the amount of time it has taken to probably develop all that must be a great feeling hey we got it nice The Last of Us 2 definitely deserves all the praise in the world for its accessibility features. get hit by him there, but oh I guess it was bound to happen. Look out, more machines. Yeah, I haven't played Rift Apart, but I was Spider-Man, but I, I haven't heard about Spider-Man. But uh, Ratchet and Clank apparently also had really good uh, really good features. said you know it's amazing that they were willing to do all that work for for it because you know again it's features that like 99% of people or even more than that you know are never ever gonna use or get anything benefit from Did I get both the scrappers? Messed up. Like Gonna wait for him to walk out. Might as well craft ammo. While we wait. Nice. Very nice. Now we just need a good fund in your fight. Oh, by the way, oh, sorry, uh, Slaconic, I missed your donation. I apologize so much. Sorry. Uh, thank you so much for the five dollar donation. I did not hear the alert, so I apologize. But thank you so much for your generosity. Really appreciate it. And uh, sorry, I missed the alert. Maybe it was doing the frost claw fight or something because I didn't hear it. But thank you, uh, Slaconic. <laughs> well, I can only take credit for, uh, can only take credit for the content. So you should thank the, generally, the community for the other part there. <laughs> so thank you to all of you for being a great community, I guess. <laughs> Make ready. All right, bring it on. really good but that bat 
Great. Time for the run today. Because right. it always dies here. <laughs> nah, I'll try my best. We'll see. Maybe this actually is the run. But uh, frozen wild speed runs are very unforgiving. I just want to point that out. In there. Doesn't look like there's much choice. Oh yeah, I forgot the yellow potions. God damn it. Oh well, it's still possible to get it without it. Excuse me. No, oh, whatever. Nice. I'll need to get past that vent. Stay here until I find a way for all of us to cross. That's it. Here they come. I'll take the next box here. I mean, yeah, the Scorchers are basically just RNG. You know, I can't do anything about the Scorchers. If they don't want to corroborate, they're not going to corroborate. Come on over, it's safe. That's how that works. Can't do anything about them. <laughs> Yeah, even those like small, small features like being able to change the font size of uh, you know subtitles and stuff, you know, to make things easier to read, you know. Even just a small feature like that does a lot for a lot of people, because you know, a decent amount of people, you know, don't have the greatest eyesight, especially when it comes to reading things on the screen. It has reconfigured this facility to build hostile facilities. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to this. Spirit speaks to me. I've heard people complain about that in Horizon Zero Dawn here as well because, I mean, the font size is good, but people complain that the you know when you look at the subtitles they're very thin. So some people have hard time reading it because the font is a very thin font. It needed to be a little bit more bold for some people. So that is a complaint I've heard for this game. So if you could make it a bit more bold, that would be nice. Oh, I almost messed that up. really slow. We have a good lead, so we can still get something if I get to blast first try. Well, that was pretty slow. At least we have a lot of time already saved up, so... so. Not the end of the world, necessarily. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility. We'll see how it goes. While preserving most of the but yeah, it needs to be a first try to have last jump. Because of how slow that was. I don't understand what Spirit was trying to tell us. Could probably still PB if I don't get the first try, but... Machine parts. Dumped here to but a little too slow for... Yeah. I'll have to go over. Again. Ooh. 
Let's hope. We might be able to PB here. But technically still world record base. I don't know where they are. I didn't see a ray on our attack. Please be there. They should teleport. Come on. Yeah, yeah, they're there. Okay. I mean, four, Fire Claw here has to be absolutely perfect, though. For, uh, for a world record, but PB is very much on the table right now. World record is a uh, 58. And best possible time is 57. <clears throat> it's both. But we have to find out. Possible security threat detected. Yeah, I think it's the same staircase. Just reuse that asset, I guess. Keep moving towards the core. Uh oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. The new unit that Cyan warned us about. This won't be easy. Watcher hit me. I'll take a PB. Or maybe not even a PB, that was actually pretty bad. Looking at that time now. Actually, I split too early. Very small PB. <laughs> Unless I mess up air attack. <laughs> it doesn't matter even if it's a small PB. But. Ah, never mind. Let's let's go for it. Let's not mess it up. Yeah. That back off. I went really risky there, but you know, it was world record pace, so and when it's world record pace, you gotta play it risky. That's just how it is. I could have played a lot safer there and gotten the PB, but I was more like, let's just go all in for it. So I could have had a much safer Fireclaw fight, but I wanted to go all in just in case. Because you never know. Hello, because I... It is your weekend. I... Hello, I have... Dude, brought... I... So... Ask just the truth. I... Will you... I may... I'd like... I... I think that was a little slow. Opening the map there, we'll see. Right, that's a PB. One second PB. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Just, I mean, second no re second DRS run, and we actually had a world record pace, and we got a PB. If you'd never come along, so I would have my death. <laughs> it's, it's a PB, I guess. Rhea I did not expect that. Would be alone. Uh, these splits are gonna be tough to run the against, though. She sacrificed so much. That's really good. Lost. But GG, we got a PB. <laughs> 
That came out of nowhere. Not a world record, though. Like I said, world record is still, uh, what is it, 35-58 by Aussie? But, I mean, this was world record pace. If the Scorchers had behaved first try, you know, to have last jump, could have been a different story. I was wrong. The car never but oh well, GG. Lots of time to save at the very end, though, which is gonna be nice. It was her decision. So if we can keep up with the PB and then just have a better end game, world record should be there. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I I did not expect that, was. but I'll take it. And why the spirit was so important. I'll definitely take it. For so long she told me. If, if only, only you could have, have heard brother. it, brother. Now I understand. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I've listened to this dialogue a bit too much. <laughs> but yeah, I'm GG, world record. Oh, sorry, not a world record. PB. Sorry, PB, not a record. Besides, Gotta clarify here. <laughs> we got like, what was it, two gold splits? Yeah. So let's see here, uh, solid song set, but that can be a lot lower, because I still need to practice song set, because use all the smack percent strats there to cut some time. Uh, Tall Neck was decent, Nautic was pretty good, Shaman's Path was slow, because the bridge didn't line up. Um, I had a terrible mount spawn, so I can save time on Hunting Ground as well. Warrior Challenge was really good, and the Frost Glow fight during the Warrior Challenge could have been a little better, actually. Not a perfect Frost Glow fight, but overall the split was good. Uh, good Long Notch, perfect Fire Break. Uh, Fire Break was perfect, not a single mistake on Fire Break. So, uh, Epsilon, I got the skip through the vent first try. Um, yeah, I got the vent, skip through the vent first try. The Scorchers were terrible and didn't do anything. So if the Scorchers are better, that's a lot of time save. And Tear Blast Jump was second try. So lots of time to save on Epsilon. Um, oh yeah, I got... Oh yeah, you're right, on Firebreak I got hit by the Behemoth. That's true. So there's a little time to cut still. If I don't get hit by a Behemoth. Uh, Fireclaw, I went... I used... I basically played it super risky. And uh, because I was like, it can world record, so I might as well go all in. So I lost a lot of time because I went really risky on it. I could have played, um, you know, I could have played it a lot safer and saved more time there, but, you know, I saw that I was on record pace, so I just decided to go for it. So we can save a lot of time on Fireclaw, and then Air Attack is, you know, Air Attack. Could have fast traveled a little quicker. But hey, we got a PB. Can't complain about that. GG. And uh, I'll keep at this. And who knows, maybe we'll have a 35, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> we'll see. But, uh, you know, I'm not complaining about a PB. Even if it's a one second PB, that still counts. So GG.